before my co-workers show up but good morning it's friday and i don't even know the last time that i picked up the camera but i'm not even going to give an excuse my my manager showed up right as i was trying to film so now i need to get out um i recently started working as an ma for um an independent doctor and I really love it because I get to have my weekends off, but I'm working full time. Whereas with my last job, I was in a hospital setting, which is where I wanted to be, but it was only part time. And they had no idea of when they'd be able to offer me full time. And unfortunately, you know, bills weren't getting any cheaper, but I love where I'm at. At some point I do want to sit down and actually like, go more into detail about that but um she just got here our office just opened so i need to go inside fridays are half days we don't actually have patients scheduled and doc does not come in on fridays so that's why i'm kind of dressed casually um but we just do a lot of paperwork and pas pre-certs uh talking to pharmacies calling patients things like that um we'll do tea shots um, just small procedures that we can do without Doc needing to be here with us. But I'm going to stop rambling. This random lady is staring at me, which is really weird. Um, and I'm going to go because I do need to get in there. Okay, it's kind of hot. I didn't think it was going to be this hot today. I thought they said like 80, but my car is saying it's almost 90. I'm gonna turn the air up a little bit more. Sorry if you guys can't hear me really good. I'm done working and I have a doctor's appointment at 1.30. So I have like a whole hour of a gap and my doctor's office is not that far away. So I'm gonna go home and eat because I'm really, really hungry and maybe read a little bit more of my book. I have this one and maybe now uh, the sequel to it and it's they're, they're good. This is a really cute book. So much for cooking. I was gonna make the garlic Parmesan chicken pasta and garlic bread because it sounded really good. And the last time I cooked, I used ground beef. So I wanted to do chicken this time. And I forgot that the twins were getting their hair cut and they're still not back. Um, she said that she was probably gonna take them to get food and to do something else so that they probably wouldn't be home till like 6 30 7 o'clock and nathan is of course with his grandparents and i'm by myself with the cat uh, my husband went to go work out he should be back soon so i don't know what we're gonna do for dinner but i'm really hungry hello good morning good morning Oh yes, put holes all in the sheet. Thank you, thank you. Look, cuckoo, because I just woke up. It's like 9.30, 9.45. We were all up when my husband left this morning. I usually wake up when he leaves just because he's moving around. Um, but I just could not go back to sleep. And then they were like at 5.30, 6 o'clock at some point. I don't even remember. They were both at the bottom of the stairs calling my name for something and i just was like in and out of sleep and i'm like what are they calling me for at 5 30 in the morning uh -huh. i know they're used to being up like that because of school but it's the weekend it's the weekend and i need we need we we need our sleep not just me they need sleep too so they fell back asleep they're up again i hear them down there and I fell back asleep finally around 7. That's why it's almost 10 o'clock and I'm just now up and moving. But I'm going to make them breakfast. We have to go to the grocery store. I'm going to wash this bedding and put some new bedding on that our mother, oh, my mother-in-law gave us. And I don't know if I just said grocery store, but we have to go to the grocery store. Um, I'm going to see if they want to like go to the park or just be outside for a little bit. I feel like we've been 
inside a lot lately because it's been really hot, but today it's a lot cooler, so I think we should spend some time outside. Come on. Come on, you know what time it is. Aha, there he is. Come on, we have to weave through the maze of cat stuff. Ouch. Oh no, oh no. I need to get a different thing. Oh Lord Jesus. Okay, there you go, Grizzly. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can we have candy? Candy? No, I'm gonna make you guys breakfast. It's morning time. These kids are crazy. They want candy. Okay, so these were something that I don't typically buy, but th this is the Fruity Pebble Waffles. Um, I don't usually get them just because I'm like, eh, the kids really don't need all that sugar, whatever, that junk food. I got them this time for them to try. There's some scrambled eggs with cheese. I still have to cut up their grapes. And then they both got some of this yogurt with my favorite granola topping on top. So, what, what is this one called? What is this? This one's uh, like a drone. This one's like a ship and this one's a ship. This they're, one's a ship? They're both a ship. Oh, they're both ships? Yeah. Okay. I need the belt just in case I have to do this parachute. I better keep it on here. Actually, it's like this. It's actually all. This oh, like that? Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Oh, very nice. Asterisk, brush your teeth. <laughs> to Elijah, because I said you guys need to brush your teeth before we um, play with any more toys or watch Magic School Bus or whatever. But I did want to insert the picture here somewhere because I finally picked out all of the outfits that we're going to be wearing for our fall family pictures. We've been talking about doing family pictures and putting them up on the wall for a while. Um, we don't have any like professional pictures taken of us. We've never done professional pictures, not even like for our wedding or before we got married, like when we were just dating, nothing. So I think it'll be really nice to have some family photos. And I wanted to go with very like fall colors. So I'll put a picture in here real quick. The boys just turned six recently, so we still have birthday stuff on the floor. But in the living room here, I'm thinking like, since we have this whole thing going on here, that I suggested to my husband that we center the clock like more in like the middle of the wall. So put the clock here and then have our family pictures right there. I think that'd be really nice, a good way to like utilize this space because it's just a giant blank wall. And the clock is like not centered at all. So I'm like, if we just put the clock here and then put our family photos here, it kind of breaks up this wall a little bit more and it'll, it'll, it'll flow a little bit better. I am absolutely sweaty and exhausted. <sighs> House is mostly clean. I still need to wipe down our bathroom and vacuum up here, but 
change the bedding, which I really like this color of bedding. It doesn't go with our room at all, but it reminds me of the ocean. It's really pretty and it's clean. So the other stuff is probably done in the wash right now. I need to switch it to the dryer. And then I need to do my laundry and I still haven't been to the grocery store. The kids are dressed and their room is clean, but I myself wanted to knock out all of the cleaning first before I took a shower, just cause I'm sweating so much. And I did uh, put up all my fall stuff and I've already made a small list of some things that are just getting old and I need to replace or some things that I want to get to add. So probably go to the dollar store sometime in the next couple days um, I don't think I'm going to go today just because I have enough other things going on, but I am going to make a mental note that I do need to pick up some stuff. I feel bad because I snuck out to go to the grocery store as soon as my husband got home and I could tell that Ezra wanted to go with me, but his brother is sleeping and I didn't want to just bring one of them. And they almost always expect something, um, whether it's I bring one of them or I bring all of them. So I just figured it'd be easier if I went by myself. So I'm pulling up to Meyer right now to grab some stuff for dinner. And then I also need to get creamer and sugar because my husband texted me and reminded me about that. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday. Here's my little outfit. I have some dress pants on and some sandals, and then I did my hair with this bow. I've been really liking bows again recently. <sighs> I'm waiting for the kids to get dressed. And this cat is driving me nuts. Come here, you. If anybody wants a cat, you can have him. He has been so up my butt lately. I don't know what his deal is. What's your deal? Huh? Say hi. He's a good boy. I just, I constantly trip over him. Thanks. Cereal for lunch? That doesn't really sound very appetizing, Eli. He does not want to go to grandma's house, but I need to iron my tablecloth. So we're gonna go do that. We just got done with church and I gotta put the phone down. For a second. Ezra rode with my grandma. <laughs> he looks like he's having the time of his life. And it's so beautiful out. I said yesterday it was nice out. I think I said that. Um, but today, wow. It's just a little bit cooler, a little bit breezier, still super sunny, and it's just, oh my goodness. Today is honestly a better day to go to the park than yesterday would have been. It was so, not like uncomfortably hot, but I feel like I would have started getting kind of grumpy because I don't like it when it's super like hot and direct sunlight. But today there's enough of a breeze where honestly I think I would be fine, so. We're gonna go to her house, do the tablecloth. Um, we're gonna eat something. I gotta change my clothes because I'm not wearing this to the park. Too cute. Um, and we'll get my husband and then we'll go. All of these have a the little blue thing on them. The honeymoon? Yeah. What are, what's the, oh, these are um, fresh just smaller. That's 12 ounces. This is more, you get more in this one. Then I would go that way. Yeah, I'll just go with that one. All right, let's go back around here and get the chips. My grandma found the infamous witch's brew Alani's. She got me two of them because she loves me. He did not ask I'm making you. A song. He's just tapping on the cases oh, to make a beat. A joke. I know. My kids are very literal. We must touch everything in the store. Don't we? No, we just have to touch every single thing in the store. I'm about to crack 
I am back home now and it looks like while I was gone my husband started on one of the many projects that we're trying to work on and that is we don't have a ceiling fan up right now and I will flip the camera around and show you guys so yeah it's gone um the our old one I don't even know what he did with it but we got one from my aunt she had a really, really nice one that she wasn't using. And so we are going to get that all cleaned up. And we're actually going to take the fan and change the gold hardware to silver. Just for this part of the house. Simply because we have a lot of black and like gray. And then we of course incorporated the brown in with our fan. Because so much of our house is made of wood. And we knew, well, he knew the black and gray color scheme would be hard to accomplish with all of this brown, all these brown doors, all these brown walls. So we found this stand-up fan that we think matches the room really well. A lot of the other just aspects in here are black or gray. Um, curtains are black and gray. We got this lamp. It is brown black and then of course the silver hardware on it and the white lampshade and we don't have the bedding on right now please ignore my dirty clothes we have the blue bedding on but normally our bedding is black white and gray and our headboard is gray so as you can see we have a very like neutral just three colors type of theme going on Good morning. I'm currently working on the kids' laundry and I'm gonna do a grocery list and yeah. Yes, I'll I'll fill your head. Give me a second, okay? Go on, Nathan, go on. Go, Nathan. This is the morning we are having. Lots of attitudes. And I don't think he's sick. I just don't think he wants to eat what my husband made for breakfast. And I'm tired of picky kids. I understand that food aversions are common, but it's literally eggs and bread. Like, can't get more basic than that. Also, this is my first cup of hot coffee in months. My husband's like, Elena, you're always going to Starbucks or Dunkin'. Like, we have a coffee maker. And I'm like, yeah, but I like iced coffee. But this is actually really hitting the spot. Um, it's butterscotch toffee. And I bought some vanilla caramel coffee creamer that was on sale. And it's really, really good. So I might just go back to making my own coffee again. I don't know. So this is what we're working with right now as far as the ceiling light goes uh, my husband used this galvanized silver spray paint and i actually think it looks really good um he said that he can see some of the gold coming through but honestly i can't tell i think he did a really good job and i'm excited for us to get it put back up and i'll show you guys um nice. when we get it all finished yeah it does look nice we're getting ready to go over to my grandma's house to eat some food and catch up with my sister and my mom and I miss my nephews I haven't seen them in a couple weeks so I'm excited but I am going to stop filming here because I don't want to film my family I just want to prioritize my time with them um and I, I like this vlog I feel like it was a good vlog um I just feel like I've been doing better mentally and I'm super grateful for <laughs> these little for these little boys and this life that I have. So I will see you guys in my next vlog. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. bye. Say bye, Nathan. Bye. <laughs>